assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we shall talk about uh, shunt dc generators uh, we shall learn the uh, process of voltage build up in uh, shunt dc generators and we shall also talk about the terminal characteristics of these generators and finally uh, we shall learn how we can control the terminal voltage of shunt dc generators uh, in shunt dc generators uh, field windings which are on the poles and the armature windings these are in parallel there is the equivalent electrical circuit of shunt dc generator is given by this diagram uh, we have uh, the armature windings uh, and armature is uh, depicted by the symbol resistance of armature windings and we have field windings and field windings have uh, some resistance uh, and the windings are uh, represented by this symbol and uh, these uh, field windings are in parallel with the armature windings uh, sometimes they insert uh, an additional variable resistor in series with field windings uh, that gives us control on the terminal voltage so this uh, resistor resistance of field winding uh, combined together with uh, the variable resistor that is over here. So what we can see uh, is that uh, in case of shunt DC generators the armature current that is equal to sum of the current which flows in the field winding and the current which flows in the, in the load. Uh, furthermore the terminal voltage that is uh, equal to uh, the generated voltage minus the voltage drop across the armature windings. So an advantage of uh, shunt DC generators compared to the separately excited DC generator is that we do not need a separate voltage source to excite the field winding. The same voltage which is generated by the uh, armature, the same voltage is supplied to the field winding and that uh, gets excited. Now there is one question. Initially, there is no generated voltage and that is there will be no field current. So what will happen if we start rotating the rotor of uh, the generator? So we know that the generated voltage Ea that is given by K multiplied by flux in the machine and the speed of the rotation. So since there is no current, so would we get a voltage, generated voltage? So, to understand it, uh, we study the process of voltage buildup in shunt DC generators. So, what happens is that uh, although there is no field current, but there is some small residual flux in the poles of the generator. So, due to the residual flux, small voltage is generated. Small voltage is generated, and the same voltage is uh, over here that will result into some current field current so this voltage generated will result into field current field current we can see is that it is equal to the terminal voltage divided by the field resistance due to flow of field current flux in the machine will increase that will result into increase in the generated voltage and therefore that will result into increase in the field current and this circle will continue that is increase in field current will result into further increase in flux and therefore further increase in generated voltage to how much extent this generated voltage will increase would it go increasing forever uh, so this generated voltage increase in generated voltage is limited by the saturation in the magnetization curve you already remember the magnetization curve of DC machines. Magnetization current relates the field current uh, and the generated voltage Ea. And this curve, we remember the curve between IF and Ea is uh, the, has the same shape as the magnetization curve. And uh, if uh, we consider the residual flux, then this is the magnetization curve and uh, how much current will flow so current uh, is related with terminal voltage by this relation 
So if uh, we also sketch the terminal voltage Vt on the same graph, then Vt is uh, Vt is equal to IF multiplied by RF. There is equation of a straight line with slope uh, given by RF. So this is the this is graph for Vt versus IF. Slope of this line is determined by field resistance RF. So if you explain this uh, voltage buildup process with the help of this graph, what we see is that if IF is equal to zero, this much uh, voltage EA will be generated. This is the residual flux and due to that some voltage will be generated. Due to this, uh, this small voltage, this much current IF will flow. This much current IF will flow. And due to that IF, uh, this will be the generated voltage. IF is related to generated voltage by this saturation curve. And then this will in turn result into flow of this much current, which uh, will in turn result into uh, this generated voltage. This, pro uh, this uh, process will continue until uh, until this point. And here there will be no further increase in the generated voltage. This, this process is called voltage buildup. Over here in this graph, this voltage buildup process is uh, shown in uh, steps, discrete steps. However, this process is not uh, like this uh, discrete step, it is continuous process. Uh, there will be simultaneous increase in the generated voltage and increase in field current. It will not be this uh, stepwise uh, increase. Uh, sometimes it happens that we start the generator, that is we start rotating the rotor of the generator and no voltage buildup occurs. What could be possible reasons and what could be the solutions to that? So first, first, uh, first possible reason is that uh, there may be no residual flux in the poles of the generator. That is phi residual is equal to zero. In that case, what we can see is that uh, there will be no voltage in the machine no voltage means no current and hence uh, no voltage buildup process can occur if uh, there is no uh, residual flux. So what is possible solution? What we can do is that we can remove the field windings from the circuit, connect it to a separate voltage source for a brief time and uh, what will happen is that current will flow in the field windings uh, and uh, that will magnetize the uh, these uh, electric electromagnets and even when these, uh, this current uh, source, uh, voltage source is removed from the uh, these windings, still some residual flux will be there and then voltage buildup will occur. So uh, this process is called flashing the field. So if uh, there is no uh, residual flux in the poles, we can flash the field. This is one possible reason. Uh, the second reason is that there may be residual flux in the uh, poles but the direction of MMF due to this current that can be opposite to the uh, residual flux that is the flux generated by this MMF MMF due to this field current can be opposite to the direction of residual flux so net flux again becomes equal to zero and there can be no voltage build up so this is second possible reason, the direction of flux due to this field current, this MMF, that can be opposite to the uh, direction of residual flux in the poles. So net flux again uh, is zero and hence no voltage build up. What is possible solution? Uh, the first possible solution, uh, we can uh, change the direction of rotation of the rotor. So changing the direction of the rotation of the rotor uh, by prime mover that will reverse the direction of uh, uh, generated voltage and therefore uh, the direction of current in the field winding hence uh, both the residual flux and the flux due to this MMF will again become in the same direction 
and voltage buildup will occur. Uh, the second solution is that we can reverse the connection of the field windings. That is connect this end of the field winding over here and this end over here. Reversing the connection will reverse the direction of current to make both the flux due to this uh, MMF and red red flux in the same direction and therefore again voltage buildup can occur. Uh, the third possible solution is uh, flashing the fields. That is, we follow the same approach, disconnect the field windings, connect it uh, by uh, connect it to external voltage source to create the residual flux in opposite direction so that again the residual flux and this flux due to MMF are in the same direction and then voltage buildup will occur. So third possible solution is flashing of field. There is another third reason. Uh, for uh, voltage buildup uh, not to occur, that is, the value of the field resistor is higher than the critical value. Uh, what is critical value of RF? What we can see is that slope of this line, uh, line which relates IF and VG, that is governed by RF. We know that uh, RF is equal to VT over IF. So slope of this line is governed by uh, RF. For example, if we have a field resistor which is larger than this value, let's call it R0, this value of RF, let's call it RF0. If we increase field resistance from this value, the slope of this line will increase. That is, we shall have this situation. So this is line for RF1 where RF1 is greater than RF0. So we can see that again voltage buildup will occur and finally we shall get voltage equal to this value. Uh, what will happen if we further increase the field resistor? For example, RF2. What we can see is that for this particular value of RF, no voltage buildup can occur because the voltage which will be generated will be equal to this value and there can be no further increase in our, uh, the generated voltage and therefore no further increase in the terminal voltage. So this value is the critical value beyond that uh, there will be no voltage build up. What is possible solution if this is the case the so solution is reduce RF. So these are three possible solutions, uh, three possible uh, situations when no voltage uh, buildup occurs in shunt DC generator and possible solutions.